Uh, when I say we, I mean the Dharmic civilizations. We have been on the receiving end of a very straw man um, assault. And with a straw man assault, what you do is you paint a picture of your um, target, which is not necessarily corresponding to the target, and then you attack that picture, which leaves the person who is being attacked in a very strange situation in that <laughs> they are potentially defending something which is not necessarily true. Now, in the space of Manumaya Kosh, I was taught a long time ago that when I had my first connection with a realization, I was taught that now you need to keep quiet, you need to shut up for at least 11 years and allow yourself to become safe again, because otherwise you're going to blabber away and you're going to cause harm to yourself and you're going to be a real pain in the backside for everybody else you encounter. And yet we have in this day and age the ease with which we dispense with the safety mechanisms and then all of a sudden difficulties arise and those difficulties are perhaps placed at doorways where they don't really, uh, really belong. But um, we've had a, a number of points raised and I can sense that um, there are responses just yearning to be expressed. And so there was a mention of equality in the workplace. Yeah. Um, and I think it would be really good if perhaps, Madhuri, you could contribute uh, a different perspective to equality as opposed to equality of, of labor. Um, in, before I go... In only a short space as well. Uh, <laughs> yes, bef before I go, go there, okay. I would like to take off from where Shefali left. What she says is, true, it's my experience as well, but we cannot turn our backs on the fact that sexual violence is on the increase, that women are getting mauled, but on the other hand, we also have a strange scenario whereby false rape cases are being, uh, y using draconian idiotic laws, you know, misuse of many draconian laws that have been enacted in favor of women. So we should not turn our face away from some of the serious challenges facing us, namely decline in sex ratio. It's being battled in, at different levels, but we cannot turn our face away from the fact that uh, the female of the species is in some areas endangered, and we have not created safe enough environment whereby people can feel good and safe about bringing up girl children. It's, and it's a known historical fact that whenever s violence and crime increases in the public domain, women's lives do get devalued because women can thrive only in safe, uh, physically safe environments. Now, coming to the workplace issue, I think this very typically Western feminist way of judging women's status uh, as per percentageism. You know, this obsession with percentage, what's the labor force percentage of women, etc. And if it's not 50%, that means we're not equal. Firstly, we can't overlook the fact that 93% or at least 90% of people in India are in the unorganized sector, where it's a family economy, like six, six, close to 60% in the farm sector. Now, no farm works without active participation of women in various ways, whether it's taking care of animals or processing food or harvesting. So they are, are all in the workforce simply because they're not employed by some, somebody and not given a salary doesn't mean women are not working. Secondly, I really, similarly a weaver household or a porter household, women are actively participating in those productive enterprises. But more importantly, this looking down upon women who choose to give their full-time concentration and energy to bringing up the family, to care of the old, to care of their children, to nurturing their extended family. I think it's one of the most valuable roles. It hurts me deeply when I see the life of my, women like my mother undervalued by saying they were not in the workforce. But the service she performed to larger society by giving us such a caring, loving, nurturing home, it's not a small service, bringing the next generation, giving them good sanskars, and a stable family life, let's face it, is the founding rock of any 
society or civilization. The moment your family life gets unstable and nobody knows, uh, children are not secure, whether their parents will stay together, uh, and, and who's there to look after them, you have serious problems. The breakdown of family, sadly enough, is coinciding with women feeling that they're incomplete without having a paid job outside the house, a uh, 10 to 5 job which brings a pay packet, as if others are lower species. I think this is a very long way uh, of looking at women's lives and their contribution. And to demean this role, which in our culture has been worshipped, a mother is worship worthy. She's not just uh, somebody who gives you birth and then by the time you're 18 you say goodbye or now old fogies sit at home. No. The, the, and this relationship to undermine it, I, I think is not right.